AC Doty here with the Technology Matters YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to quickly and easily create a single property website on command. So, all right, let's go. So, first thing you do is log into your command. I have it saved. If not, go to agent.kw.com. Now, once you're in here, we want to click on consumer in the bottom left and that's going to take us to the spot this is where you edit your website edit any landing pages um, it's got the guide builder for the app which I'll have a great video coming out for soon um, edit your agent uh, website that you do it all right here so but today we're gonna to be creating a standalone single property website page you can also use this for an open house check-in some other things and I'll have another video coming up called power your open houses with command where I'll go through step by step a to Z, how to do an open house um, and never leave command, how to uh, market it, everything all through command. All right, so today, single property website. So just click create new site and then you're gonna have the option, you can do a standalone page. I'm gonna do create page. And then I know what property I'm doing. Uh, Jackie Grant was kind enough to let me use one of her listings. So I'm, I'm gonna use her listing for that. So I'm just gonna title this that listing. All right, so now let's start building our, our landing page. Super easy. Okay, first thing you do, you start just like you'd start at the top of the page. We're gonna put in the branded header. So you click on branded header, click and hold down, drag, and then you let it go over here and you can see it pops up. You can see the elements as you're placing them. So next, we're going to do listing information since this is a single property website. And you can see right now it's got generic uh, listing info. In a minute, I'll show you how to configure the page and uh, change this to the actual listing. So they've actually added a couple really cool buttons over here. So they've added in where you can add in a video, you can add in a download my app, and I'll just show you what that looks like because I'm going to be using that one on here. So we're going to click and drag, and then you let that go. Oh, and I let that go in the wrong place. So to move it, you click on it, click this little arrow, and then drag. And wherever this green line pops up, you can see here, wherever this green line is, that's where it's gonna go. So next, we're gonna do a lead form. So we're gonna drag that, and we don't want that above the app, we want it below. So we're gonna drag that down, and we're gonna let that go. Now, like I said, you can bring in other stuff. You can bring in a market snapshot if you want, and then you could do, the market, uh, the neighborhood that this listing is actually in and give them neighborhood information for this listing if you'd like. So, but I don't want that for this one. Uh, so we're gonna, and when you wanna get rid of something, you click on it, click the little trash can and that'll delete it. Again, you could pull in some video if you wanna put a cool video on your website. So you can do a bunch of different stuff on these um, landing pages. So the one I'm showing you today is for single property websites, but you can use these landing pages for tons of different reasons. Uh, another new thing is the testimonial capture form. So they actually have it set up uh, to do a testimonial, which is kind of cool. So that's another thing you can do. And actually we can, I'll, I'll show you guys also in another video how to, on your sing, on your agent website, to add in a couple extra pages for doing testimonials, showing testimonials, and some other stuff. So we're gonna delete this one though for today's purposes. So we're gonna put in our um, legal footers, gonna be at the very bottom here. So we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna put in our legal footer because we want that you always want the legal footer at the bottom that has the each office independently owned and operated address that type of stuff so it's always good to put that in there um, and then we're gonna put in your local expert so it shows your contact information that type of stuff and it also has another little download my app button but since the app's new we're gonna leave that up here okay so that's as easy as it is to do that portion of it. So after we do that, we're gonna click configure widgets. And then the first thing I always do, click this little arrow and it takes you back to this main page so you can start at the first one. So if these are white check mark like this, that means there's still stuff to configure on the page. If it's a green check mark like that, that means you can make changes, but it's already configured and you don't have to make changes. So we're gonna start at the first one, the branded header. 
So this gives us the option to put in a header text. So we're going to put in the address. And if I was um, actually going to be using this as a single property website, I would put in the uh, city, state, and zip also. So we have that. And you can also make changes to any other stuff you need right here to your contact info or your logo or anything. So we're going to do save and apply. And you can see as soon as we do that, it actually adds that information over here on the left-hand side. So you can see it updating in real time. So we're going to hit this arrow and go to the next thing. So now we're at the listing. So probably the most important part of a single property website. So we're going to click click browse listings and we're going to type in the address. So you can search by MLS number or KWS ID, but we know the address. So I'm going to type in the address. Hit search right here. So here it is. So we're going to select that. And then as you can see, it gives you options which um, of all the images, which one you want to be the main image. So we're going to do the second picture here. And you can, or you can upload your own custom image if you want, but why would you do that when it does this for you? It pulls them in for you. So we're going to hit save and apply. And you can see now it puts the information of the property on here. And then you can see it, it lets them search through all the pictures here, just like on any uh, property website. Shows a little map of the area. So now, since we've done that, we're gonna to head to the next one, and that's the download my app. We already know what that is, um, so we're good. And right here, you would have your app URL. It would default to that, but I don't have my own URL, so it's just the main KW one. And you can change the button text right here if you wanna change that to say something else. You can change this text if you'd like. I'm gonna leave it how it is. Hit save and apply. Even if you don't make any changes, you always have to hit save and apply to for it to um, make sure it's configured. So you can change this instead of saying interested, let's talk. You can change that to whatever, please contact me or I'd love to hear from you or whatever else you want to change it to. So again, even though we didn't make any changes, we're going to hit save and apply. And then I think that is everything. Oh, we still need to do your local expert. So I am actually going to go back and copy this app info. Because again, like I said, I don't have my own app, but you have to have all these sections filled out to, for, to be able to save this. Save and apply. Now, if you didn't want to publish a page right away, you wanted to come back and do some more work on it, maybe um, whatever other reason, you can actually save it without publishing it. But I'm going to go ahead and click publish. Hit yes. And it's that easy to create a single property website. So you can see it's right here. This is the one we just created. So if you want to go look at it, you can click on it and go look at it. And so you can see all the information on there. So you could email that to somebody. You could add that in as a link on your um, agent website. You could use it in a Facebook ad as the lead capture page for a Facebook ad. Bunch of different things you can do with it. It also allows you right here if you want to change uh, the back part of the URL, so it's not just a string of characters, so we can change it to Desert Mirage. Create that, and you can see Maybe. So you can see that change that right there. So that's all I wanted to show you today. It's that easy to create a single property website that you can use for a bunch of different functions. Um, that's my first video of my new Technology Matters channel. So keep an eye out for more videos. I'm going to be putting out at least.